And by raising interest rates again, the Bank of England is piling on needless pressure on already struggling families and households. We're seeing numbers of like over 700,000 people miss, households missing rent and mortgage payments yeah. in April. The cost of food is skyrocketing. You know, people simply can't afford the food that they need. Um, debts on, on rent, on energy, on council tax are increasing. Um, and, and, you know, the only, the only ones benefiting from these hikes are the banks are going to make huge billions, uh, and it's set to make huge billions, but doing nothing for these higher interest payments from consumers, yeah, but also yeah. from the bank England. What's interesting um, about that is that when, when they talk about windfall taxes and, and the like, and people will have their own view on that, but of course, um, Th Thatcher in the 80s had a windfall tax on banks, and her theory was exactly the one you just put forward. It's like, hang on a second, we're not taxing success or great business acumen or, you know, somebody having a fantastic idea. and gra we are just, We're taxing the fact that you lucked in, basically, with, with something. You did nothing to make this extra profit, so we are perfectly relaxed about applying a tax to it. Absolutely. And we've, you know, we've had the national conversation about the need to tax oil and gas companies in this energy crisis when, when bills are skyrocketing. Exactly the same with this, you know, unwarranted boost to bank profits, huge amounts. Um, and again, we need to see a windfall tax on banks, uh, a, a significant surcharge. If we, if we increased it to 35%, uh, that would, raise a significant amount over the next uh, few years, which can obviously go to support incomes, can go to support energy costs for those on the lowest incomes.